Well, hello everybody. Before the video starts, I would uh, like to give a shout out to my computer. Um, for one, being able to run this beautiful map. Um, for two, being able to film and edit content for me. And three, being able to give you guys this series. So, starting a new series. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, first episode is always kind of hard to film because it's like get everything set up. So this is kind of just behind the scenes. But um, this uh, this this is a really beautiful map. Like I really love this map. Yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the series. All right, uh, I've been staying at uh, the old grandma's house. Grandma, your cookies are really good. Um, we got this the old Jeep running. I, uh, I work as the manager at John Deere, and um, I make decent money, but um, I mean, I think $100,000 a year. Uh, I keep getting an extra $20,000 because I get a raise every year which is good for the next five years, so it's uh, some, some pretty good money. Um, just coming into work, 9 o'clock, it's 9.30. Um. <laughs> I almost was going to pull into the handicap spot. <laughs> uh, we'll pull right up front to the door. I'll we'll have to see what Larry's doing. Larry, good morning. Um... Hey, I was just gonna, um, take the semi, is the trailer ready for it yet? Is the trailer rebuilt? No? Okay, well, um, I was going to do a delivery, um, uh, the, uh, Willie's Farms, um, wanted, I think it was the 6R right there, um, so I was gonna load that up and go deliver it to them, but, um, Hey, I'm I'm gonna need to make my hours from like eight to would four be okay? Four? Yeah, I need to change my hours. Um, I know you're the owner of the store. I don't know. I'm pr yeah, I, I, Larry, I need you. Okay. Um, I need my hours to be changed because I. You know what? I just bought that the uh, old. Abandoned car dealership over there. Spent a hundred thousand dollars on it. Um, you know what? I personally think it was a good deal, but I, I'm not I'm not sure if it's gonna be making me money. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, I'm have to, and I didn't need to take a loan out for that. Nope, nope. I, you know, I've been taking care of Grandma. And she's been letting me live at her place for a couple of years, and that's been really good. That gave me enough money to save up to buy that. And I might take out a loan to buy the house. Buy a house. Yeah, it's a little bit out of town. I've been looking at it. It's, uh, they want 150 for it. It comes with, like, seven acres of woods. It has a pretty decent house. I think they're asking too much for it, but the house was built in, like, 2017. So it's a pretty new house. Um, but, yeah, I might take a look at that, but, um... Do you want me to, what was it, did the semi need an oil change? Is that what it was? Okay, I can, I can get on that. Um, keys in the semi? All right, all right, thank you. Uh, can you open up the garage door, or, you know what? No, never mind, I got it, I got it. Well, geez, he didn't need to open all of them, but, I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, this is our company semi. We need to give it an oil change. We're all good to go. This thing takes a little bit to start up. Pull it right in here. Wish we had a lift, but, you know, semi-trucks, I, I mean, I'd be able to slide right under there and do the oil change. Uh, we need the tool set. Right, it's under the, here. All right. Half-inch socket. Crawl under here, drain the oil. Where's the oil? The oil pan... Is it upstairs? No, it's in this cabinet down here. Alright. Grab the 
Big oil pan that should fit everything in the semi slide under there. All right, we got all right, the oil strip draining. We need to grab a filter up here. All right, we got our filter. Okay, it's just dripping. All right, I'm gonna tighten that up. All right, we took the filter off, got the new one back on. Uh, just gotta fill it up with oil, which is also upstairs. I don't know why I didn't grab it. All right, got that closed. Um, guess uh, we could go see if the trailer is ready. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to him. That was about a half an hour. We'll see if the trailer is uh, ready. Jump in the semi and. Yeah, this thing's uh, it's, it starts up a little rough, but it's been our company semi for well ever since I've been here. But I heard stories about this thing in the two thousands, and yeah, it's probably it's a pretty old semi. We'll have to go over here, run in the store, and have them uh, bring out that uh, our trailer. All right, and it's just right around the corner. All right, thanks, Jim. All right, yeah, here it is. All right, we'll have to back up the semi and. Back up the semi and hook up to it. Um, it's got this new trailer, and we had tractor supply put. Um, uh, I think it was fifteen thousand pound axles on it, and it only had like seventy five hundred pound axles on it. Hook that up, cause yeah, there's no way we could haul, you know, combines and everything with seventy five hundred um, axles. We had to put. I think we put. Yeah, I think we put fifteen thousand pound axles. So. 15, yeah, yeah. So we got definitely enough for combines and everything that we'll need. Um, we'll have to go up to the farm. Said they wanted that 6R delivered. Um, so we'll definitely deliver it for them. Pull around here. All right, he already got the door open for us. All right, the ramps are down. Hey, uh, Larry, the key's in it. All right, thanks. Oh, wow. Yeah, this guy said he had his grain cart um, tractor, and he said it wasn't work. I don't know what he used as a grain cart tractor, but this, um, I'm thinking this might be a little too small, but I don't know how big of an operation he has. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully we'll be able to find out. I'm... I'm not sure, I don't know, but we'll I'll just throw her on here. Throw some straps on it. Alright, we're gonna go take it up to the farm. Um, the one thing I would appreciate to point out about this map that I personally appreciate is there's actually stop signs. And uh they won't allow you to go. I mean it's gotta be green before you can go, so yeah, I really uh, I really like this map. It's a pretty cool map. Oh yes, for everybody that's asking. I do have my CDL. Uh, I have it for both states um, besides each other in the Mississippi. Um, and I am allowed to drive up to, I think it was 80,000 pounds or something. Oh, here's the, here's that house. I'm worried about that steep driveway. Hold on, we'll stop take a look real quick. Um, I'm worried about the steep driveway. But, um... Oh. Huh. Must be a truck and trailer here. Huh. It's, well, I don't want to bother anybody. We should just go drop this tractor off. And if, uh, if they're still there, we'll, we'll knock on the door on our way back. Like, all right, I think I can open the gates. This is definitely a farm. Let's see, uh, yeah, Valley Bluff Farm. Totally the, whatever, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, that, it, 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 yeah, this is it. Well, this is kind of a pretty nice farm. I don't see any equipment. Oh, maybe this guy owns two farms or something. That's weird, because there's, like, no equipment. All right, just a couple hours later, we're leaving. I guess the guy didn't really know how to run the tractor, and I'm not an expert on it. I've, you know, I, it's, I'm good enough to tool him around and know how to work on a farm and everything. I'm, I'm decent, but um, 
I had to walk over like everything that this tractor could do, everything this guy wanted to know everything again, so you know, it took me a couple hours. I'm supposed to be getting over to my uh, dealership. I don't even have time to stop and look, but I, I don't, I think that would be a nice place to live. But we have to go over to the dealership. I'm supposed to look at a F-150 and um, might buy it as my personal vehicle. Um, I think it would tow better than my Jeep, and I don't really tow with my Jeep. I have a small trailer, but I, I mean that that Jeep tows pretty good. That thing's that tows for what I need it. But I think an F one fifty or a, a heavy, kind of a heavy duty or more truck would be better for me. But um, ooh, green lights, perfect. This one will stay green. Oh, oh, pull back in. I think I'm gonna park the semi and the semi trailer just straight in the garage. Eesh, hopefully we can get it in there. All right, shut that down. Close all the garage doors. All right, Larry. Um, yeah, I'm good with the semi. Was it two thirty? All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go sit down at my office, and I'm. I got some paperwork I gotta fill out for that guy. Um, I'm gonna probably head her off at around 3 maybe. Oof. Alright. 3.30, Larry. I'm heading out, alright? I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Oh, my paycheck, right. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have forgotten that. Or I wouldn't want to forget that, I guess I should say. <laughs> alright, thanks for the check. Um, you know what? I appreciate you adding two pennies to make it even. That will look really nice in my checkbook. Thank you. All right, Larry, we'll see you next week. All right, we'll have to go over, um, I'm supposed to meet the guy at the BP gas station, this, uh, gray F-150. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to buy. I'll be the first purchase for this place. I've bought the place. Uh, it's been kind of sitting for a month. I haven't even really done anything to it. Um, I, I got a lawnmower in there, and I there's some old Yukon in the back that we'll have to fix up to. Um, but yeah, I'll have to get to work on that. This is the first vehicle I'm buying. Um, so. Yeah, hopefully this thing gets good. Hopefully he's good price on what he's asking for it. And hopefully I will be able to buy it and make some money. Alright, yeah, I guess uh, this wasn't the BP. It was this Con Conco gas station. So I'll uh, have to wait for this guy to show up. All right, so um got this maroon F150. It's a 2016. It's riding on uh, I think 28s for the tires. I'm not sure. It's, it's definitely beefier tires. Um has the 50 engine. Uh, so that's the V8 engine and it has 130,000 miles paid 10 cash for it. This thing aluminum isn't corroding on it. Tailgate opens. Even he even left the um, bed rack and the toolbox in it, which I mean I, I don't even know if I'll use. But I think ten grand. Oh, and when the truck was like two years old, he put a snowplow on. It. He snowplowed like two times with it, and then uh, he bought side by side or something. Didn't need a snowplow with it anymore. So come winter time, if I need to snowplow, I was thinking snowplow. So. Depending if I like this truck, I think this truck is here to stay unless if I come in a little bit of a money crunch And I am kind of in a little bit of a money crunch, but um, I took the thing for a little test drive um, I, I'm pretty certain this could be a long-term truck, but um I'm Just gonna I think I can I th I'm gonna go grab my trailer at, that's at the um, dealership 
We're at the John Deere dealership, and I'm gonna hook out of this truck. I guess we'll have to tow the Jeep back. Very first drive, and we're gonna be towing. All right, we'll pull in here. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure my Jeep should fit on the trailer, or at least I hope it does. Oh, did he forget to shut those doors? Oh, he's still here. Why is Larry still here? Let's hook up this trailer. Let's go talk to him. Yeah, I think the Jeep should fit on that. Hey, hey, uh, you left those doors open, Larry. Uh, why are you here so late? Okay, you're just about ready to pack up. Uh, yeah, I was just coming by to pick up my trailer. Um, yeah. Dang, the AC not working or something? You're leaving all the doors open? I probably left that one open, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, um, hook on my trailer. I just bought, you see the F-150? I just bought that. Ten grand cash. V8 engine, low, like, 130,000 miles on it. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you next week. Yeah, I think I can fit the Jeep on this. Oh, the lights work nice. Steering wheel's so big that I can barely see over it, but, <laughs> you know, I, I like this truck already. I've only driven it a couple miles, but it's, um, it's a really pretty nice truck. We'll have to put the old Jeep on here. I don't think I'll get rid of this Jeep. I didn't even pay that much for this thing. Uh, this is my very first vehicle, and I have never bought anything else. Um... And, I mean, I paid three grand for this thing, and it's probably worth five grand now. But yeah, I love this thing. I mean, this Jeep only weighs like a couple thousand pounds, but I think I have a bunch of tongue weight on this truck right now. Um, but it's definitely way too much for this trailer, but it, I mean, it'll tow it to, uh, it'll tow it to my grandma's house, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I can't believe I put, um called a four-wheeler for one of my friends and you're supposed to be able to put the ramp straight on the back so it's it's like a 14 foot trailer and you're supposed to be able to get like an 18 foot or it's supposed to be something like that and I put the guy's four-wheeler on there and he was falling behind me and the ramps right on I-75 fell off I didn't even know it I, pro I, went, I didn't even feel anything I didn't even know it so he stopped, he called me, he's like, hey, my four-wheeler's in the middle of the highway, your ramps are here, come back, pick, pick me up, blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't trust those ramps. I mean, it, it was doing good for about two hours, but it just must have, I don't know, the ramp's perfectly fine, it just must have hit a bump and came undone. We'll have to unhook this trailer. All right. I'm gonna have to back up. I'll have to throw a lock on that trailer real quick. I'll have to back up in here. Hey, I leave this thing running? I didn't even know I left that thing running. It's raining. I'm going inside. Um, I guess that was a good night, Bob Truck. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the bell, post notifications. Start now a new series. Hope you enjoy it. Catch you guys next time. Wade Farm.